Hello, my name is Steve Stahl. I am a resident of Minnesota and I built guitars as a hobby. It is my way to de-stress. And I built this cloud guitar fashioned after Prince's uh, cloud guitar from Purple Rain. I made this for a friend of mine. Uh, I don't sell these designs because this is, uh, I used to, but now David Roussan, who's the original builder, uh, he has got the patent on it, so uh, I don't make them for sale. So if you'd like to buy a guitar like this, you can get a hold of David Roussan. If you have a different guitar body style that you would like to have me make, uh, you can feel free to send me a message. But anyway, so I made this for a friend of mine from Montana. His name's Noah. He's excited to see his guitar, so I said I'd put a video uh, of his guitar on and he gave me a couple of requests. One of those requests was that he wanted to just hear the uh, sustain and di on distortion with it. So I'm gonna start off with that. What gives it such a great sustain is the, the brass nut and then the all maple body. And uh, I'm sure the, the bridge helps a little bit. This is a Schaller bridge as a is on the original plow guitar and they're impossible to find or 99% impossible to find. But anyway, here's a sustain of the cloud guitar with distortion. <laughs> pickup a lot. It's an EMG. <laughs> There's like a few guitar licks that I really like to go to just because I listen to, uh, I don't know, the sound for me is nice. So here's one of them that I like. You know, I can change my EQ just slightly on that. I got a little bit too much rain coming through. Let me see if that 
By the way, I'm not, even go, I'm not going through an amp. I'm just going directly into a board with some uh, JBL speakers here. So it's, you know, you put this to a nice amp and it's going to definitely sound better. <laughs> Schechter makes a version of the guitar. It's got a shorter horn on it. This is the same length as what Prince's was. Um, tapering on the horn of the body coming down with the uh, hand carved. This it's all it's all hand carved. So um, I would say most people don't have any clue as to how long it takes to to do that. But 
Anyway, I have a lot of respect for David Dusan, who built the original cloud guitar. Now, he based it off of a bass guitar. And uh, anyway, I have another friend who owns one of those original bass guitars, so that's kind of kind of cool. Anyway, it's got the uh, spade fret markers on it. Those are not round. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, spades there, spades on the side markers, and spade up here on the truss rod cover. So there is the Prince Cloud guitar. Let's see, I'll take the strap off and just give it a little go around so you can kind of see it. There's from that side. Good full body look at it. So anyway, scroll up at the top. So there we are, Prince Cloud guitar uh, copy. Right now, I've actually, so, um, looks like I gotta tighten the truss rod cover there yet. This is uh, an interesting aspect. So, <laughs> as I said, these bridges are really, really difficult to find. It's a Schaller 457 gold bridge. Uh, nowadays, if somebody wants one, what you pretty much have to do is buy the used one. And then most of the used ones, because they come out of the 80s and 90s, are pitted. And so this one was sent off to Nashville to be re uh, coated in 24 karat gold uh, replating and uh, came back and the gold plating on it was too thick to go into the anchors that are in the in the body now so thought, well now what do I do because these are so hard to find these bolts I know this is really technical some of you can just tune out now others are interested um, they have a 5 16 24 that's what the thread is on it so no companies make these. I know they look like ones Gibson makes, but it's a different thread. The uh, size of the shaft in there is a different size. And so anyway, right now these are chrome. I've got Gibson gold ones on the way. These are Gibson chrome. And what I had to do is I had to refab these really. I had to uh, recut them with a tap and die so that it would be the right thread. And then I had to use a lathe and I had to file down the shaft so that it would be the right size. Because when they came back, when the gold ones came back, I thought, well, I'll just see if I can use the tap and die to change the thread on that one. And I broke the head off and my heart sunk and I was like, oh no. But came up with a good solution. So right now I've got it set up with these chrome posts and then I've got gold ones on the way that I'll have to refab when they get here. Other than that, the guitar is done and ready to go. We've got the uh, Schaller M6 Mini tuning machines on it and so it's for all intents and purposes uh, it's the same build as what Prince's guitar was which is also a 12 inch straight radius neck with jumbo medium jumbo frets so and if you take a look the action is super super good on it uh, it plays just really wonderful and so yeah um, and I say that not not because I want to point to myself and say wow look at how great of a guitar player I am because quite frankly if you want to know the truth every time I build a guitar I don't know if the guitar is going to be good until it's finished and so when I get to this point and it actually plays the way, it, and this plays super, I am just so thrilled that I didn't mess it up because you go through a lot of work to get to this point and uh, you don't know if it's gonna be, you don't know if it's gonna be right on, right on until it's all done. And so I get, yeah, I get a little excited when they're, when they come out like this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day, God bless.